Hey there guys, this is Nick from Danny's Wine and Beer Supplies and in this video I'll be talking to you about Lightning Turbo Yeast. Lightning Turbo Yeast comes in a single packet, it's a mixture of yeast and yeast nutrients and it's best suited to create a plain, relatively flavorless alcohol at 20 to 23 percent. There's a lot of other turbo yeasts out there on the market, but we here at Danny's had run uh, Lightning Turbo Yeast against a few of its competitors and a number of tests and time and time again, uh, the Lightning Turbo Yeast was found to be the best in a number of ways. For one, it ferments usually the fastest, sometimes under a week and never more than two. And also, after it's finished fermenting, the yeast is always very quick to die, which uh, really helps with uh, stabilizing and clearing the alcohol afterward. On top of that, it's just uh, it's under $10 a package, so it's a great value. So if you had your mind set on making some plain alcohol, uh, Lightning Turbo Yeast makes in just five easy steps. And if you've ever made concentrated uh, wine or beer kits, uh, you're going to notice that uh, the steps are very similar. So to start with, you're going to assemble um, in your fermenter a sweet mixture of sugar and water. You're going to use 9, nine to 10 kilos of sugar, preferably dextrose, and about 23 to 25 liters of warm water. Mix it together really well to make sure that the sugar is dissolved. After that, you can just pitch your yeast in. You don't need to hydrate it or anything. Just, uh, t just toss it in and give it a stir. Uh, you can move your fermenter into a relatively warm place between 21 degrees and 24 degrees Celsius and after a week or two you should notice that it's done fermenting and your hydrometer reading should be .985 or lower and then it's ready to rack and you'd rack this just like you would wine or beer you're gonna siphon it from your pail or fermenter into a carboy make sure you avoid as much sediment as you can and then you're gonna add in some stabilizing chemicals like potassium metabisulfite to help it clear and to help prevent bacterial infection. After that, it's ready to clear. So you'd use something like uh, Kiosol and Chitizen. You can use activated carbon to get it a little clearer than that. Or you can even use a uh, filter if you have a fil uh, filter machine. Even a wine filter will uh, do a pretty good job of clearing out your plain alcohol. So you might be thinking now, so I have my plain alcohol, but plain 20 to 23% alcohol that's flavorless isn't really something I want to be drinking too much of. And you're probably right. But the beautiful thing about making uh, Lightning Turbo Yeast is that it opens up the door to experiment with a whole bunch of different flavors. You can mix your alcohol in with pop, fruit punch, or especially essences. So what essences are, are um, they come in little vials and they try to replicate the, the flavor of your uh, favorite spirits and liqueurs. So this one I have here is for coconut rum. They usually make uh, between two and three 750 milliliter bottles. So you just mix it in with your alcohol. Given that your Lightning Turbo Yeast batch will create about 30 bottles, this gives you a whole lot of room to explore with different flavors. So once again guys, this is Nick from Danny's Wine and Beer Supplies, and if this video has been helpful to you, make sure you check out our website at www.dannyswineandbeer.com. Uh, there you can find a whole bunch more information.